The scope and complexity of the things that we are fortunate enough to work on is really something else. So some of the key features of our project is built in three stages. It had to be built in stages because we were required to maintain traffic on the current bridge. So stage one, we built our bridge on the south approach. Stage two, which is the floating of the new center span. And then in stage three, we'll demolish the existing structure and put two lanes of traffic in each direction on the new bridge. So one thing that we did on the project was we took our 3D model and we also graduated it to a 4D model as well too. So not only does our 3D model show a nice picture of the project, but it's also loaded with tangible information about the project. What virtual construction allows us to do is plan in the office virtually before getting out here and actually doing the work. This minimizes impacts to the operations and ultimately gives the people an idea of what this project was going to look like before we ever built it. We were really able to use it as a coordination tool so that we can see where our tools need to be, do we have the right number of cranes, do we have the right resources, where it needs to be, when it needs to be there. One of the most interesting aspects of this project was the lift span actually had to be constructed off-site in order to facilitate continuing the flow of traffic across the existing bridge. The solution to that was to go ahead and find a spot where we could build the bridge over water at the elevation that the bridge would be in its permanent orientation. So we work in partnership with our clients, uh, with the engineers and with the consultants on site is really to have an open and honest dialogue and uh, you know partnering really helps facilitate that open-mindedness. It's just been great and a lot of fun.